guys welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome to my youtube channel my name is Michaela, and this is my cat oliver and in today's video we are going to be doing a feeding routine with my six horses it's one of the three feeds that we feed um they're called the unbeatable pellets and it's a forage only feed so it only has um, alfalfa and timothy hay um some vitamins and minerals and it's just really pure so we switched them over to that recently and they seem to like it so the minis got a cup so they both got a cup um red got half a scoop pink got half a scoop finn got half a scoop now we're gonna move the buckets to get the next feed feed that we feed is purina senior so this is fed to buddy so he gets one and a half scoops then these are the Timothy pellets that we feed. So red gets half a scoop. Pink gets half a scoop. And Finn will get half a scoop. So now that we have the minis, fins, paints, reds, and buddies, now we're gonna move on to all of our supplements. So the first one that we're gonna do is buddies supplements. So this is a weight gain. So he just gets one of these scoops. This is the weight gain that he gets. And then we have muscle up that we also give Buddy. I might start giving this to Red, but for right now we're just giving it to Buddy. Then MSM for Buddy's joints because he's older. So he gets a scoop. Then we feed um, a garlic salt, so they each get one scoop. Put that in body, reds, and paints. Okay, so now that we're done with all the dry supplements, we're going to move on to the last thing that we do, which is cannellina oil. It helps the dry ingredients mix into the feed. Hi, Oliver. Are you hoping? We're gonna pour the other one on here. I try to get it on the supplements so it soaks into the supplements. Now I'm gonna put it over reds and we're gonna put it over paints. And then I just mix it around. And it mixes in pretty nicely. I'm gonna stack the buckets. So, we have two paddocks that are in two different directions, so I stack them accordingly. So we have paints, reds, and the minis, and then we have buddy and fins that I just stack like that, and then they are all ready to be brought up to the paddocks. Now this is something that I don't do every night, but if I'm riding late, which I am, I will just bring buddy and fins buckets up with me, um, and feed while I'm walking out. So that's what we're currently doing. We're walking paint out from our ride, which I also made a short video about, um, and feeding. So, yeah. So the purple bucket goes to Buddy in the red bucket. The black bucket goes to Finn. So Finn got fed, Buddy got fed, and paint is now currently licking out the buckets. So now we're walking back from feeding them. And it's just good exercise because he gets walked out and since it's getting late, they can get fed and it just all works out. So we're walking to the paddock and then we're going to take the bridle off and feed him and yeah. Now we're down here with paint and red. We're going to put red's food in his bucket and we're going to put paint's food in his bucket. Now he's coming over. Now these two are fed, put the minis food in their buckets. Normally they would be here right now, but they're currently in a paddock, so I have to go get them real quick. We're bringing our buckets back. Now the last thing to do for tonight is bring the minis in from their small grass paddock. Oliver is following me. It is quite dark. That was Teddy. So I'm going to get them and then bring them back to their paddock. Sadly, I can't video because... It's getting dark, I have to bring both of them in at once. Okay, they're both back in their paddock and they are going down the hill to get their grain. Okay, now that all the horses are fed, it is time to feed Oliver. 
So Oliver gets fancy piece gravy lovers. So he gets one can. Yeah, his bowl. Okay, so he has dry food. I'm just gonna refresh his water. And he has fresh water. Okay, so that's it for feeding all my animals tonight. It was pretty easy because earlier today I made sure all the horses had water and hay. So it was really just making the feed, putting them back in their correct paddocks, and feeding them. So it was pretty short, pretty simple, pretty easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. Hope you enjoyed the little add-on to the end of the video where I was feeding Oliver. That was also super, super easy because um, I gave him dry food earlier and made sure that his litter box was done. So that was also really easy. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please give a like, comment down below any video ideas that you have because I'm going to be trying to do YouTube videos again. So if you have any ideas, put it down below. Let me know what you thought and what you'd like to see in the future and anything of that nature. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great night. Bye!